Espresso here. Wow, what a different sort of week. This is the calm between those storms. It can be really calm, but you've got to watch that weather, all right? It comes and goes very quickly. A little bit like the bike, too. The bike has been on again, off again, really quiet, then all hell breaks loose. So when it's really quiet, just go down the size. That's a little boss, a little slow pitch. Perfect for wafting down through the water cold when there's a when there's a slow bite. Just a nice little lolly. Remember those lollies? When the bite comes on, go big. That's the bigger boss. Go even bigger than that. That's 100 grams. I'd go up to 150 grams. I'd also go up to a few bigger jigs with a lot more action, like your double trouble. And that's the boss squid. It uh, flashes that skirt around very aggressively. So when the bite's on, go really big. Get your big gear down. Get your, uh, your big soft baits, like this is the 10 inch livey soft bait. I'd probably go with a two or four ounce jig here to get it down out in this uh, depth of water. But there's some really big fish out here at the moment. They may not be feeding all the time, but gee, they're after some big, big feed. Give them a big taste of a big 10 inch livey like that. Yeah, it's a pretty exciting times, especially on the light gear, that light soft bait gear. So, if you're in with half a chance to come out fishing, great. Don't worry about the bike time too much. Just alter your size of your jigs, but also alter the size of your technique. I think the most important thing is, is the action. And when there's a quiet bite, slow down the technique. Really use your kaburas and your micro jigs, but also just with very gentle movements. As the bite comes on, or if you're finding you're getting hit on the drop, the bite's on, it's really cranking. Go big. Go big with your lures. Get a bigger lure down there, but also much more aggressive motion. Turn your slow pitch almost into a mechanical jig. Three, four, five, up, and let it aggressively waft down as well if you're after the snapper. When you're on the bite, you want the bigger fish, go hard out, go more aggressive with your action, and you come home with some really good big snapper at the moment. Tight lines, if you're inshore or offshore out here, time to be out here. Spring is sprung, yeah, Mother Nature's on the prowl. Espresso out. track along, it's not going to swim properly, it's going to spiral and be really quite ugly. The motion is wrong, the action is wrong. Sometimes the highly luminous stuff around full moon is too much. The snapper are going to come and hit this anywhere and everywhere. Fish can hear that sound 50 meters away. Why? Because water is a great conductor of sound. You can drag stuff, you can drop things in there and it's not going to be sand. Especially when you're your jig head puts the head down and the hook is up in the air ready to get hit by a strike. Even around all bloody day long. It's great, you've racked up all of those fish and you haven't let them take a bite. Please let them take a bite, you know, like for God's sake, you're fishing down there and you go, oh, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs>